going on, DJBooth.net? This is Kareem Julian, a.k.a. DJ Blaze, and I'm here to give you guys a quick unboxing and first impressions video of the new Pioneer DJM850 4-channel professional DJ mixer. Now, this mixer is a Tractor Scratch certified mixer, meaning that you can plug in your external record decks or your external CDJs for time code control with use of in Tractor without having to have an extra audio sound card or interface made by Tractor. So everything's internal with this and you got a lot of cool effects and a lot of other features that we're going to explore in the full out video review but for now we're just going to see what we get in the box. So first thing I see is the USB cable it's for all your MIDI controls and your sound card interface. Next up in the box we had the power cord, power cable, which is just the standard computer style cable with the three prongs, nothing special or out of the ordinary there. And next up we have the actual mixer itself. This is a very heavy mixer, very, very sturdy, club quality feel. Without even looking at it, you can already tell that this is like a very professional piece of DJ equipment that you have here. Seriously heavy. So we're just going to open up the packaging. So here it is in all its glory without the packaging, the Pioneer DJM850. Again, this is in black instead of the silver edition. You have your crossfader down here, nice and smooth, buttery smooth crossfaders, the crossfaders that Pioneer are known for. You have your line faders with a little bit more resistance to them. you got four of them, four channels of control here. You have your Q section above that. Each one has its own... Um, high pass filter or color effect knob. These are your color effects here on the side and here is your more in-depth expansive effects section which most DJs of this style mixer will be using all the time. You also have your LED meters up here for your master line levels and you also have an individual LED meter for each of your lines that way you can see where your levels are for each individual source that you are mixing. You have a lot of other controls, so you can select where you want these faders to go, what side of the crossfader. And you also have a lot of input and output um, options on this mixer, which are selectable via the knobs and switches up top. So we'll go into that in a lot more detail in our full video review. Right up top, we have a microphone port, dual purpose port, XLR and quarter inch. Um, we also have a USB, USB port here in the top top left moving along there's nothing on the front it's a club style mixer there's nothing to get in the way on the front that way when the club DJs are plugging in and using it they don't have to change anything on the front you can keep it right in your travel case so moving along to the back you have your CD control start stop um, inputs for all four channels all four of your channels have dual RCA's two of them are phono level RCA's or um, CD switchable and the other two are just a bunch of line inputs. You get two line inputs per each channel here. You also have your send and receive quarter inch for more effects than what this even offers you. You have the master uh, balance output XLR. You also have a master unbalanced RCA, a record out and a booth quarter inch set of outputs as well. You also have a digital master out. You have another mic, mic 2 here on the back. The other mic one was on the front and the top. We have a MIDI out and you have everything you need here just to start rolling and then some. So that's it for the first impressions. We're going to get into this mixer very, very detailed in our full out HD video review. We'll have that for you in the next couple weeks. So stay tuned to www.djboot.net slash DJS. Keep subscribing to the YouTube channel, that's Real DJ Blaze, and keep following me on Twitter, that way you get all these cool stories, reviews, and news as soon as it happens. It's at DJ Blaze underscore DJ Booth. Thanks for watching.